Excuses show episode number 36 already and if this is your first time again I am your host and I do this weekly uh, I've been doing this show in our kind of private page uh, however private but it's open to the public it's called the no excuses ladies so uh, if you if you wish to join the page please please do so and send your invites right there but today it's just in general public i am speaking to all of you on all these different social media so i have we are on youtube channel we have two hello alexandra welcome to the show we have two different youtube channels and on one you will find the exercise and motivation daily that's the big physique and why and also i have my own channel and you can find specifically all the no excuses ladies episodes and other information so welcome to the show now what is really no excuses ladies no excuses ladies weekly show is for you all of you ladies and guys everyone out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find yourself being unhappy and unsuccessful in life now this weekly live give you examples on how the no excuses mindset can help you and help my freak family become successful in these three main areas like mind body and business but also relationships so this tribe i call it tribe is welcome everyone those of you who are a badass already and those who, of you who would like to become a badass in real life i am here to help you support you guide you and lead you to your full potential the results you get is completely up to you Will you take the necessary steps to implement what I'm teaching you today? It's totally up to you. Will you get to the next stage in your life, your mind, your body, and your business? Again, it's your call. If you stay on this and you take something out of this show, that's awesome because I am here to give you some tips. That's what it's all about. Remember, knowledge without sharing with others, it, it, it's not going to get you anywhere. I've had knowledge for over 20 years studying and implementation and now we teaching all over the world. So by having me as, a, as your accountability coach, you'll be able to find, finally discover the power of self-belief, self-motivation, internal motivation, internal discipline so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you. So this is what the show is all about. I hope you guys are hearing me really well. So again, episode number 36, I always give you a, a quick recap. What we were talking about last week because uh, this show is a weekly show. So we were, I was talking about how to really fall in love with Mondays, how to uh, get that killing, killer, killer mindset in the morning when, when you are prepared already during the weekend. So when you start your week, you hopping out of the bed, feeling excited, motivated, and all of you can find this. So if you have not watched this, please watch it. I'm gonna attach my YouTube channel. You can go back there and view the, this whole video and get some tips because I give you the tips. So stay tuned because today's topic, guys, is gonna be really cool. How to stay fit and healthy when you are traveling, especially when you're traveling on the plane. Because when you when, when we are traveling by car, it's a little bit different scenario, similar yet different. So because we our family travels all the time, we are on the plane a lot, and we discover how to really apply our freak code, our our mindset in everyday life, even when we are traveling. We do not want to stop what we truly believe and what we preach. As you know, and so many of you know us from Peak Physique in, in Rockland County, we had two locations. Now all this uh, setup is right now available for you online with our application. But you know what our mindset is. It's that powerful, strong mindset when there is no excuses, right? And that's what I want to implement in you today. So when you're traveling, guys, this is really cool. So maybe grab and pen and paper bust out your journal, start taking notes because all of you need this. I know this. And if you have something that you want to share, please post in the comments. I would love to see your participation because it's, we can all learn from each other, right? And I would love to know what you're doing. So uh, 
carry the motivation with you, even in situation like traveling, like being on a plane, right? This should not be just temporary. And it's not only when you wanted to lose weight. It should be all the time. Now you need to ask yourself the questions. Do I want permanent results or I want temporary results? Because trust me, I've seen it. I've seen women and men thinking about some kind of an event in their life that they just want to show up their beautiful body just for that event. And after that, they go back to their old, 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 old them, right? That it's like they're going back to the same bad habits. So it's not about this, that, that going to an event or just it's you feeding your ego. It's all about how I can affect my health permanently. Why do I do this? Not just for this short period of time when you putting your swimsuit on and you're just going on the beach a few times a year. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking permanent, like an imprint, like a, a stamp on you, a change that you will not switch. It's not on and off button and I've seen it for so long. We've seen it for so long, we've seen it in peak physique. I see this right now, people go on and go off. So today, it's all about making that switch for life and finding out that certain habits are with you for life and they should stay there, okay? They should stay there. So, uh, leave, breathe by your core values. And what are your core values? You should really describe them, maybe, you know, Today, you're gonna decide, you know what? I wanna be fit and healthy for life. I don't want to go for this roller coaster ride. I don't, I, I am tired of losing the weight, gaining the weight, especially maybe if you are an influencer, a person that uh, people see and you need to preach by the example because I've seen many coaches, many trainers that are not fit, yet they talk about fitness and nutrition, right? So. That means that they're not implementing certain things that they teach you. And with our freak family, we teach what we use, what we do it. So otherwise, we I wouldn't be congruent with what I say. How can I tell you and teach you things that I wouldn't do myself? So that would be wrong. So I can only teach you what I know. I can only teach you and truly believe what we do. And that's what we do. So let's start from uh, really the beginning you know when we when we travel when we decide to travel uh, i'm gonna concentrate on on the food part right what's in our carry-on bag what's in our carry-on bag well first of all we have food we have books that's very important we have laptop because we work we have um you know like a quick little tablets for children if they want to to play some games or watch a, a movie, right? Just in case, just overall being prepared. So let's concentrate on the food part, okay? And I'm gonna go with the list exactly what we have in just a second. So before you go to the first checkings, what I've been always doing, and you see me doing this all the time, I mean, I drink my water constantly, right? And that's what you should be doing. Remember, weight loss equals hydration, weight loss and staying fit equals drinking a lot of water so make sure you do that now i do not take this bottle on a plane with me however this could be actually a good idea maybe i should start doing it but what i do before checking in i drink at least a bottle of water a bottle of water i drink and i drink portable uh, high protein shake because i don't know how long it's gonna take let me tell you, I had situations that uh, this whole checking in took so long, we were stuck in line and I was starving. So I prevent myself making sure that I'm gonna have that protein shake, that I'm gonna have that water, especially remember there is a period that you can't get it, you cannot get the water, right? You cannot bring the liquids. So make sure uh, you, you do that. And why we do this because throughout the traveling you get dehydrated and i'm gonna go into this in a second what happens with the dehydration process what happens exactly with your body when you get dehydrated right so after when you go for the first checking when they check your uh check your um, that um, portable bag and whatever you have there make sure that you get your water and 
at any any store I know that these prices are crazy usually but that's what we gotta do because again if God forbid you're gonna get stuck on the plane like we had one time they couldn't deliver water to us we were just sitting in place because the, the plane was taking two hours for the takeoff and we were on the uh, ready to take off guys two hours the 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 crew could not give us for two hours any liquids don't that taught me a lesson be prepare I mean we always prepare but you take those lessons that happen throughout your life that happens around you be present and take a notation of it like okay I've been stuck I've been asking other people for water that shouldn't be like this so what I do when I drink I take this bottle of water with me I also carry with my bag a shaker bottle guys why do I do this I have actually beverage mix from Herbalife with me right now post workout that I'm drinking right now why do I do this? Because I carry with my bag, and that's what I told you guys. I put in this little funnel that you're going to see, this little funnel, and this is also an Herbalife funnel right here. I put my protein drink mix. Why this one from Herbalife? Because it dissolves easily in water. It's very, uh, it makes me feel full. It's 15 grams of protein. It's quick and easy. So I put the two scoops in a funnel. I put this in my shaker bottle. And I'm totally independent as far as this goes. So look how uh, you, you have preparedness, right? You're preparing before this stuff. So stay, stay with me because we're going to go along. So what else is in my bag? Look, I have Quest Chips. Yes, Quest Chips. We absolutely love them. There are different flavors. I know that you guys know this. Some people even ask me, is this good for eating? Absolutely it is. If you don't buy the bag for the party bag, I've seen those already in the stores and it was 600 calories. So this one has 140 calories. This is exactly the amount of protein that you need. And trust me, I need my glasses for this one. 18 grams, I don't want to make a mistake. And five grams of carbs. Take a registration of this protein. What else we love? We discovered these two years ago, protein puffs different flavors you can get this on amazon i should be literally uh amazon influencer right here because that's what we get ours from great breakdown 90 calories good amount of protein what else is in my bag of course there is protein bar of course there is herbalife bar these bars Ivanka loves them and tyson loved them they are different flavors guys so again herbalife bars you can those are the deluxe ones i will attach my my link and you can find my link also in any kind of stories as I, I do them every day on my Instagram. You can click on the link. If you're not sure what it is, send me a message. I will give you instructions how to use the stuff, what to do, how to do it. And then Tyson got in love with the Fit Crunch. Fit Crunch bar, different flavors, awesome breakdown. You can get them on Amazon as well. Really good bar. I have those with me. What else? Tuna packets. Yes, the kids love tuna, and this one is actually Thai chili. So you see, we went into the food section right now, and I'm showing you this, guys, because those are the tools. When you have, in the beginning of your journey, when you're just learning how to eat for weight loss, you need the exact ideas. You have to have it, because otherwise you're gonna be lost. You're gonna be trying to eat peanuts on a plane, but those are actually not good for you. Uh, when you're trying to lose the weight. So that's another option. Can you eat a tuna with a different flavor? Sure. This one has a seven grams of carbs, four grams of sugar. Before photo shoot, we would not eat this one, but this one is good for now because this is additional carbs and, and sugar, but right now it's good. Now what else? I used to be a coffee drink, drinker. I love my coffee now, I would drink it black. There was a time after when the kids were born I will go to Starbucks and get myself a skinny latte. But even a skinny latte, you have 300 calories, my friends. Boom. Wow. Is that a wow effect? You probably did not know that. So, why would I kill my energy with so much milk? Even though you replace the regular milk that has lactose in with uh, a soy milk or, or soy milk, soy milk, really, that's what Starbucks serves it. It's still additional 120 calories. Why don't you switch it to Herbalife tea? 
a little tea concentrate is an amazing tea. This is, has, has five calories. And what I do, I take exactly half a teaspoon and I put it in my funnel. So I travel with at least three or four of those. Why? I want to be prepared. Because think about it. If you have those intercontinental flights when you maybe fly from one side to the country to the other, you they're going to serve you their snack. And what's the snack on a plane? Peanuts. They have pretzels. They will have water. Right? So... Uh, that's 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 what it what it would be. Hold on, guys. I have to just uh, fix my connection here because something happened. Let's see. Okay, I see you guys here, but something happened on my other side. But we are back on perfect. So be be please be prepared. So have this with you. And what else is on the plane? So on those intercontinental, so you you cannot. You, you you might purchase some some food, but most of most of the time there are sandwiches. So you would have to literally get rid of the bread and eat just the sliced meat if you are lucky. So how about being ahead of the game, staying in the game, staying in the game, and being ahead of everyone and just bring your own supplies. This is awesome, guys. I cannot emphasize enough to you how important it, it, it is to have this again you don't know maybe you eat specific things send me a message i can direct you to good things definitely okay now what else is important so during the flight when 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 the crew right they walk and they serve a few times we travel overseas we travel just recently to Poland so we're talking about the flight of 12 to 13 hours depends non-stop flight sometimes the flights might be longer if you have a if you have to change the flight right if you have layover and on these long distance we have food so what would you do with the food that is provided to you well I always always remove the starch. When they give me the, the food, I eat chicken, I will remove the starch, I will eat the vegetables. So that's rule number one. Number two, recently I did that because I had my protein bar, I had my shake, and I figured, you know what, let me just ask if they have additional food so I can just eat the chicken. And bam, they told me yes, they always have extra food. So obviously the portions are smaller, you need extra chicken, ask them for the chicken. Now, having these bottles by you, when they go and serve the water, because they, how many cups you can put? I usually, this is pretty funny, because when they go and serve the water, they ask, like, what would you like, right? And I say, I need three cups of water. And then I would ask, sometimes I would ask for Diet Pepsi, but I no longer do this because this is, has aspartame, right? So we don't want to have this unhealthy drink. So... They would be like three. They would ask me three, and I said three. So instead of asking them and having tons of cups next to me, I decided let me just carry these bottles with me or these shaker bottles. So I asked them to fill the water for me, and I go and I fill it myself. And yes, you want to do frequent trips, but and stretch on the plane, but you want to be staying hydrated. Why? What happens when we are on the plane? Why we always feel dehydrated? I don't know if you, if you have this moment, but I had it. Let me drink something. I had it. I had it often. The airplane cabins have a very low humidity level, right? So the doctors would explain you that because fifty percent of the air circulating in the cabin is pulled from the outside, and at the high uh, uh, altitudes, the air is almost com complete, completely devoid of moisture. That's why you feel like this. So it might cause your throat, nose, and skin to feel very dry. So the water from your nose, from your eyes, from your mouth, and your throat is attracted to the drier air molecules around you. That's why you feel dehydrated. That's what it is. So it's like a process similar, you know, to convention, convection or, or evaporation. That's what we would say. So that's why you feel it. 
So that's why you need to stay hydrated because let me tell you, you if you're dehydrated, first of all, you're gonna be hungry and you're gonna get dizzy. You're not gonna have a good recovery after the uh, plane travel. And I believe that this episode is super, super important for you guys because we all at one point or the other are gonna end it up on the plane. People would ask me, uh, you know, what we would do in certain different scenarios, and I will explain to you in just a second, right? Now, uh, but what else? So remember, say no to their snacks. Be prepared. I say no all the time. I mean, if the kids want pretzels, that I will just take my pretzels and give it to them. However, they have their own protein bars. They have their own snacks. They will ask for tuna as well. So. Oh, we've been teaching them the same values, the same ideas of traveling healthy and staying healthy. And of course, some of you will ask, can I drink alcohol? And I said, no, if your goal is weight loss, there is no alcohol involved. No, then you should not drink alcohol. And I see this all the time. A lot of people just uh, fly and drink a lot of alcoholic beverages and they don't drink water and it causes them even more dehydration. So. Remember, control what's controllable. The fact that you're gonna get prepared and you're gonna have this with you, that's taking charge of your life. It feels amazing, it feels good. It gives you confidence, it gives you, it gives you stability. It gives you, um, it propels you to cr create even better things for yourself. You feel like you can conquer the world and achieve anything. Because those are choices that you make every day. And, and a lot of people, it might be even you, thinking, but this is not a freedom. Well, let me tell you that actually this is a freedom. By you being so committed, so disciplined, so organized, this is a freedom. Because you're not jumping all over the place. Think about any time when you multitask or go from one thing to the next. How do you feel? You feel all over the place and most of the time you waste your time. How do you feel when you don't, when you are not prepared, when you starve, when you're traveling, when you don't have a good energy, when energy is so low? I get off the plane and people ask me, how on earth have I done it? I said, this is it. This is the plan, guys. Do you like my plan? Would you consider doing it? Would you consider applying it? Would you consider sticking to it? Yes, absolutely. Why wouldn't you? That's how you get ahead. That's how you stay in the game. That's how you, uh, that's how fit people live. And someone just recently asked me and told me, and you guys heard us saying this, this is not a living. Well, it depends what your values are. It depends. If you like being overweight and you like, uh, Whatever is outside control you, if you want the airlines to control you, if you want the 7-Eleven or uh, Dunkin' Donuts to control you, it's up to you. You have the choices, you make the choices, you have the decision. And once you grasp this, once you start doing it, I, got, I guarantee you that you're gonna change your life forever. But this cannot be just temporary. This have to, some of you will have to take small little steps to get there and it's okay. Some of you, because you guys are black and white, so it depends where you are, how you are as a person. Are you the one that will just quit immediately and switch it? That's great, but the outcome's gonna be fantastic. But will you stay there? The question is, do you stay there? I've seen it all the time. People fired up, ready to go, and something happens, something happens in their life, and they lose it completely. Why? You didn't like it from the first place. You, you didn't like it, because if you would have, if you would have loved this, if you would have truly changed this, then it wouldn't be a problem. So think about the mistakes that you've made. See what you can apply what I told you today because this stuff is a gold mine. It's priceless what I told you today. Share please with others, please share.
please sign up to my Eva Eckert YouTube channel. Please sign up for our free workouts. It's hundreds and hundreds of workouts on a Peak Physique and Why channel. And if you want to have a workout delivered to you daily on a platform, you can send me a message because well, I can totally hook you up, guys, and get you scheduled. Of course, this is a paid program. And if you need a coach, someone that, that guide you in direction, some of you ask me, okay, I just need to lose weight. That's just a one piece of the puzzle, guys. I do coaching that involves mind, body, and business. Some of you are not your, not entrepreneurs, and I understand, but you still work for someone, right? In order for you, don't you want to scale in your life? Don't you want to get a better position in your work? Don't you want to make more money? If this is what attracts you and, and you don't know how, then you need to hire a coach. You need to have someone that will guide you, direct you, point things out to you and tell you that you're doing something wrong because that's the accountability. That's the accountability piece that um, hopefully a lot of you will understand because people still don't understand what coaching is. So yes, getting that full potential in you and acting with the fear not letting the field stop in you. Because remember, life is absolutely amazing and you can create the life that you truly desire for yourself. You just need to take the steps. So I hope that this was an amazing episode for you. I gave you guys super cool stuff today and it was developed by us years ago and that's how the Freak Family have been doing for a long time. So today was a share moment for me. And don't forget that I will attach to this video a link and you can click on the link and schedule your 15 to 20 minutes coaching call with me. And we'll see if you are a good fit for the program. If you take, uh, if you, if you take, if you have what it really takes to be a part of the program, because not, not everybody will, not everybody can. So, guys, with this said, thank you so much for watching me. And again, send me some private message if you have specific questions. Because as we know, the life, like I'm, I'm on YouTube channel, I'm on Facebook, I have here on Instagram. And on Instagram, I won't be able to see this as we go. Like I can scroll down right now and see you guys here. But overall, later, I won't be able to. So send me a message. And again, the coaching is awaiting you. My clients had tremendous results already and I'm super thankful for you being here. And again, thank you so much guys for watching, for participating, for asking questions. I will talk to you later. No excuses.